To start today's episode, these are the 5 wonder tips for you to remember to keep your back, neck, and eyes healthy while indulging in some screen time. This is Teacher Melvin's Healthy Tips for Everyone. Number 1. Sit properly so you are well supported. Your back should be touching the chair backrest. Number 2. Change your position regularly. If you are watching for long periods, take turns sitting on the couch, chair, or floor. Number 3. Keep dim lighting on in the room rather than no lighting. Strong or no lighting may lead to eye damage over time. Number 4. Stretch. Use commercial breaks to change positions, to get up and walk around, and to do gentle stretches. Number 5. Don't watch TV in bed, as this often leads to neck and back ache. There, you are now ready to begin. Hello, Wonder Warriors! It's me, Teacher Melvin, your companion to your Wonder Science Adventures. Learn everything under the sun because here at Depa TV, grade 10 science is fun. So buckle up and get ready to power your mind. This is Wonder Science. Last episode, you were able to learn about plate tectonics based on the distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and mountain ranges. Specifically, you learned that plates are in constant motion. And as they interact along their margins, important geologic processes take place, such as the formation of major mountain ranges, active volcanoes, and earthquake epicenters. Take note, where there are earthquakes, crusts can either meet or move apart and form mountains and volcanoes. Also, we explored that the Philippines is situated in a place where plate tectonics are very evident, the Ring of Fire. And remember, it is a long chain of volcanoes and other technically active structures that surround the Pacific Ocean. So there, I'm pretty sure that you remember it well. Now, let's have a short game. First, kindly prepare the following materials. Pencil and a piece of paper. For this activity, I'm going to show you a word search puzzle. There are five mystery words in the puzzle. You are only given 30 seconds to search and write the word as fast as you can. You will get one gold coin for every correct answer. If you collect all five, an awesome badge will be given to you. Are you ready? Let's play Word Search Challenge! Time is up! Let's check your answer! These are the mystery words of the puzzle. Epicenter Plates Ring of Fire Convection Volcanism How many words were you able to find? Well done! If you got 5 gold coins, you just earned your awesome badge! And now, kindly get your self-learning module. For this activity, you will need the following materials. A separate piece of paper, a pencil, and a Philippine geographic or political map. Now that you are all set, let's perform enrichment activity titled Rethink the Risk. Are you ready? Let's begin! First, Look at the Philippine political map. You learned in your previous science explorations that the political map helps in identifying the important locations of Philippines. This map illustrates the provinces and charted cities' boundaries with their capitals and national capital. Right now, I am in Iligan City, situated in Mindanao Island Group. Did you know that Iligan City is the home of the famous Maria Cristina Falls, 
the second highest waterfall in the Philippines and the star landmark of the city, which is part of the reason why it's known as the City of Majestic Waterfalls. Besides its natural beauty, it supplies power in Iligan City and helps in the production of 70% of Mindanao's electricity. Looking at the Philippine map, I am in Region 10 or Northern Mindanao. Can you also pinpoint where you are right now? Awesome! Please share your city and region by posting a famous landmark or tourist destination that your city or region is known for. in Facebook using Certified Wonder Traveler. Great! I am thrilled to see all your photos. And now, take a look and study these hazard maps. If we say hazard maps, what will it show? These hazard maps will show you the areas in our country that are affected by, prone, or vulnerable to a particular hazard or natural disasters. Hazard maps that show geophysical hazards like earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and tsunamis are also termed as geophysical hazard maps. Also, it is important to take note and familiarize the legend found in each map. A line means the provincial boundary between two locations, and the risk of an area to a certain hazard or particular natural disaster is categorized into four. High, medium, low, and no risk. Take note of these legends as you explore the geophysical hazard maps. Got it? Great! And now, let us explore the hazard maps one by one. This map will show you the areas that are prone or vulnerable to earthquakes. Wait! The ground is shaking! We just experienced an earthquake! That's exactly what you feel when there's an earthquake. Since 1968, Phoebox or the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology has recorded 12 destructive earthquakes in the Philippines. As you have learned from your previous grade, earthquakes are natural geological phenomena caused by the sudden and rapid movement of large volume rock. The violent shaking and destruction caused by earthquakes are the result of the rupture and slippage along fractures of Earth's crust called faults. Seismology is the study of earthquakes and seismic waves that move through and around the Earth. What happens when an earthquake starts? The sudden release of energy from an earthquake sends out several different shaking movements or seismic waves. A seismologist is a scientist who studies earthquakes and seismic waves. There are several different kinds of seismic waves, and they all move in different ways. The two main types of waves are body waves and surface waves. Body waves can travel through the Earth's inner layers, but surface waves can only move along the surface of the planet like ripples in water. Earthquakes radiate seismic energy as both body and surface waves. The first kind of body wave is the P wave or primary wave. P waves are also known as compressional waves because of the pushing and pulling they do. The second kind is S waves or secondary waves, which is the second wave you feel in an earthquake. An S wave is slower than a P wave and can only move through solid rock, not through any liquid medium. It is this property of S waves that led seismologists to conclude that the Earth's outer core is a liquid. S waves move rock particles up and down or side to side, perpendicular to the direction that the wave is traveling in. And finally, traveling only through crust, surface waves are of a lower frequency than body waves and are easily distinguished on a seismogram. 
though they arrive after body waves. It is surface waves that are almost entirely responsible for the damage and destruction associated with earthquakes. Wonder Warriors, how are you so far? Don't forget to take note of the important details in a piece of paper. Remember, by taking down notes, you can easily remember our lesson. And today, another Wonder Teacher will join us here in Wonder Science. Let us welcome Teacher Aimee. Hello, Wonder Warriors! I am Teacher Aimee, and we will show you a simple experiment to demonstrate the motion of primary and secondary waves using a slinky. I encourage you to try this at home with your nanai or tatai, ate or kuya. So to start, I will hold one end of this slinky while teacher Melvin will hold the opposite end. If you don't have a partner at home, you can tie the slinky onto a hook in a fixed wall or onto a doorknob. Make sure to close the door first before trying this activity. While holding the other end of this slinky, I will make a few steps away from teacher Melvin until the slinky isn't sagging anymore. Take note, don't pull the slinky too tight. And now I will ask teacher Melvin to push the end of the slinky towards me in one quick motion without letting go of the slinky. Are you ready? I'm ready. Push! What did you see? When I pushed the end of the slinky towards the other end in one quick motion, it created waves similar to primary waves moving back and forth along the slinky. Primary waves are consist of a compressional or shortening motion and a dilational or expanding motion that both lie along a line. And now I will ask teacher Melvin to quickly jiggle up and down from side to side once without letting go of the slinky. Are you ready? I'm ready! Jiggle! What did you see? When I jiggled the end of the slinky towards the other end in one quick motion, it created waves similar to secondary waves moving along the slinky. Secondary wave moves in a direction perpendicular to the direction that the energy is traveling in or perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation. Wonder Warriors, I hope you enjoy doing this activity at home with your family. Thank you, Teacher Aimee, Physics Teacher of Iligan City National High School, for joining us here at Wonder Science today. According to the Manila Observatory and Department of Environment and Natural Resources, in the mapping of Philippine vulnerability to environmental disasters, seismicity or geographic and historical distribution of earthquake events is all over the country except in the Palawan region. As shown in this figure, these are the top 10 provinces that are at risk to earthquakes. Surigao del Sur, La Union, Binguet, Pangasinan, Pampanga, Tarlac, Ifugao, Davao Oriental, Nueva Vizcaya, and Nueva Ecija. La Union and Pangasinan are prone to earthquakes, especially the deep focus ones due to the Manila Trench, while Surigao del Sur and Davao Oriental have earthquake hazards due to the Philippine Trench and nearby active faults. So there, you have just learned about earthquakes as natural geological phenomena as a result of the rupture and slippage along fractures of Earth's crust called faults. And now, challenge yourself to do this 5-item quiz. I will read the question and choices once. You're only given 5 seconds to write the letter of the correct answer for each question. You will be given 1 gold coin for every correct answer. Are you ready? Wonder Warriors, let's begin! Question number 1. Which of the seismic waves travels the fastest? A. Instant wave 
B. Primary wave C. Secondary wave D. Surface wave The correct answer is letter B. Primary wave Question number 2 what seismic wave moves in a direction perpendicular to the direction that the energy is traveling in? A. Instant wave B. Primary wave C. Secondary wave D. Surface wave The correct answer is letter C. Secondary wave Question number 3 what starting point is to be traced to locate the epicenter of an earthquake? A. First P wave and the first S wave B. Second P wave and the second S wave C. Third P wave and the third S wave Or D. Fourth P wave and the fourth S wave The correct answer is letter A first P wave and the first S wave. Question number four. Based on geographical hazard maps, what is the safest place in the country due to its very low risk geologic disasters like earthquakes? A. Batanes B. Isabela C. Palawan D. Rumblon The correct answer is letter C, Palawan. Question number 5. Why is Philippines prone to experience earthquakes? A. It is within the Pacific Ring of Fire. B. The Pacific Ocean causes daily shaking of the archipelago. C. It has plenty of stored energy in the crust part. D. The Philippines is in tropical area. The correct answer is letter A. It is within the Pacific Ring of Fire. Very well done, Wonder Warriors! I am happy that you were able to challenge yourself to do the pop quiz. And now, let us add the gold coins you have collected from the pop quiz. How many gold coins have you collected? For all the effort that you do, I will give you another awesome badge. As Wonder Warriors, it is important that you are aware of the natural hazards such as earthquakes to prepare yourselves and demonstrate the ways to ensure preparedness when disasters happen. Remember, the key to effective disaster prevention is planning. For your assignment, create a preparedness plan that we should do before, during, and after an earthquake. Perform this activity with either family members or friends who are available to join you. Spread awareness and save lives using social media platforms. Share your earthquake preparedness plan to the online world and use hashtag WonderReady. You did well today, Wonder Warriors. I am excited to see all your outputs. And that ends our Wonder Adventure for today. But don't worry, more science adventures are coming your way. Always remember, science is fun for everyone. This has been your Wonder Explorer, Teacher Melvin. See you next time for another episode of Fun Wonder Adventures, only here at DepEd TV.